Hi, my favorite people. Today, I want to tell you, share with you something that I heard last night that I never heard before, and I laugh a lot. And it's, it goes like this. Be careful of the ass you kick today. It might be the ass you'll have to kiss tomorrow. That was very funny. And I started um, searching, Googling um, the phrase to you know put it on Facebook. And the closest to what I found was this. It was, let me share my screen with you. Um, it says, be careful of the toes you step on today. They may be connected to the ass you have to kiss tomorrow. First of all, anatomically, correct. Secondly, it's a lot more eloquently put than um, just kicking somebody's butt. But if this was the only thing I want to talk to you today, it wouldn't be me, because then I started thinking after stop laughing is, you know, it's very easy to say to somebody like, hey, come down. <laughs> right. That's uh, one thing that never works. If anything, it probably fuels the fire or, you know, don't do that. Um, so so then I remember one of my favorite authors and psychiatrist, Dr. Vin Victor Frankel, who wrote many, many books, but his most probably most uh, famous is Man's Search for Meaning. This is the person who spent majority of World War II in a concentration camp. And he, um, you know, authored many books and he was writing before the war, but he actually was the most famous for developing this um, new school of psychology that's called the logotherapy. And logo in um, Greek means meaning. So his whole idea was that in order for somebody to be um, happy, um, prosperous, content, they have to find meaning in their life. And I just, I love everything I know about logotherapy and, and I hope that one day I might be able to find a true logotherapist that might actually help me as well. But Dr. Frankel said something so magnificent. He wasn't the first one who said it, but he's probably um, the one that said that the best. Between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is our power to choose our response. In our response lies our growth and our freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, this is unbelievable. He is saying that you are powerful. You are the one who decides what is your boiling point. Is it easy? No, but it's absolutely trainable. And my experience is when I was in situations where I felt when you start feeling First, it's, you know, just upset. There's a stimulus, something happened. Actually, it happened to me today. Somebody sent me text, work-related, but um, not nice nor appropriate. My initial response was like, whoa, did you just say that? And I started feeling this, um, I would say I was just, at first I was kind of upset, kind of going from my toes all the way down to my throat. But when I got to my throat, it was almost like a rage. Like I wanted to physically call this person and say, what the F, who do you F you think you are? That was in my thought. But knowing what Dr. Frankel said and, and really practicing that for years, I've caught myself now sometimes between my knee and my abdomen as that you know rage or upsetness was coming up. And I said, Phew, number one, deep breath, deep breath you know, really try to relax and think logically. Text is not a phone call. We, I don't know exactly what was happening at that person's um, had that moment. I don't even know if um, they meant it. And, and I just started to honestly, before I got to that boiling point, well, you know, when you get to that boiling point and there's no way back, I mean, that's full blown rage. That's kicking ass, that's profanity, that's whatever it is. But, um, it helps me a lot to recognize that I can go initially, my space was probably a few seconds. And I would close my eyes or take a deep breath, and then I would let you have it. 
But through the years, I've learned to really, really make that space very, very long, as long as I could, to the point where by the time I come back from that space, I choose not to respond 99% of the time. So you're powerful. Try to learn your boiling point. Don't ever let your boiling point touch you or that happen to you. Know that you're powerful in, in your response. And the only person who can control you is you. And so next time you feel the urge to kick somebody's ass, number one, remember, there might be the ass that you might have to kick, kiss tomorrow. You never know that. Don't burn bridges. But it's really not about necessarily kicking and kissing somebody's ass. But it's more about empowering you to say everything I do, every response I provide, it's up to me and I can control it. And when your space between stimulus and response will become great enough, then hopefully you, number one, you'll be in much better place. Number two, you're not going to make mistakes as writing an nasty email, calling, um, you know, getting um, arguments, fights. So th that's a great benefit from it. But also it just makes you be a better, kinder person. So with that, I want to sign off and tell you that I'm wishing you love and happiness. And I hope that everybody's healthy. And please, please be kind to one another.